Dimitri Tokshar here, CEO of LGFG Fashion House, uh, home quarantine here. So uh, obviously uh, more of a home type of a recording. Now, one of the questions that I get asked very frequently, in fact, I believe that most uh, tailors or people working in the garments industry get asked very frequently is what's the deal with blended fabrics, like synthetic fabrics, uh, for example, like a polyester or something like a Travera being blended into a wool, uh, and what's the state of that? And the reality is that what was true 10 years ago is not just, it's no longer true, and I want to explain that a little bit. Um, cheap and undesirable polyesters uh, of past and present, they're always going to be found in low-end garments, low-end garments that you find well, you might find it at Walmart, like in a jacket. Um, these are, there's always entry-level consumers. There's always uh, a very price-conscious manufacturer selling to a price-conscious retailer, selling to a price-conscious end consumer. So cheap uh, polyester, polyesters, which are undesirable because they are going to wrinkle more, because they're going to be not breathable. That's the big one. They're going to be not breathable. They're going to absorb, mo absorb moisture. That's always going to exist. However, um, in the last decade, there have been significant advances in the semi-synthetic uh, textiles. Semi-synthetic textiles, let me explain what that is and why it's so important. Uh, semi-synthetic textiles, first of all, uh, have magnificent application in luxury wear. They're trending very positively and some of the biggest mills and most famous mills in the world are doing it uh, because the, the one that's sort of leading the pack right now is a, is a semi-natural type of rayon known as viscose or viscous. Uh, and the reason I use the term semi-natural is because viscous is a cellulite-based pulp. It's made from trees. Specifically, it's made from eucalyptus and ac acacia trees. I think that's how you say it. Uh, but I know the eucalyptus tree because, you know, pandas eat it and, and everybody knows about that. So um, eucalyptus trees are, are, are basically the pulp of those trees is then spun and refined into textile, which features some very interesting benefits. Uh, for example, sustainability is more important than ever. Sustainable plantations that are focusing around eucalyptus trees are just going to be a natural byproduct of rising demand for viscous fabric. So buyers in the luxury textile trade are now not only spending their time, uh, you know, at wool, uh, you know, at wool mills securing the best wool, they're also at tree plantations now securing the best sustainable wool pulp, pulp wood pulp. Um, consumers, in fact, was interesting. So we've been buying wood or various forms of wood-based fibers in our clothing for a long time. In the high-end luxury market over the last decade, we've seen bamboo. Uh, bamboo is one of the softest, most beautiful, most lush fabrics you can buy in a pure suit. Uh, of course, Al G carries it. It's, it feels incredibly soft. It's a semi-daily wear suit. Why semi-daily? Why not every day? Because not because it's not a great fabric, but rather because it's so silky, so smooth, so soft, so luxurious that it will wear more like an extremely fine wool, like a pure 180s. Like not like the Chinese traveling tailor 180s, but like a pure 180s. And the durability, uh, you know, being a consideration everyday fabric, um, you know, bam makes bamboo really lean more towards luxury than everyday practicality. So on the utilitarian side, uh, we also see that bamboo, um, you know, expands very nicely into daily and athletic wear, like t-shirts, you know, undershirts, boxers. It just has great ability to breathe. It's moisture wicking. It's incredibly smooth, fantastically light and breathable, resoundingly luxurious, deep, complex, and soulful colors and patterns. Our higher-end clients love bamboo, even in their luxury suits. So on the opposite end of the scale, rayon, which is a, a form of wood pulp that's been refined since the 1800s in full uh, silk, commonly known as rayon, basically. So rayon has acted like a reliable silk substitute for over a century, but its production processes have trad traditionally involved chemical fortification of the fabric, so producing undesirable environmental effects. Viscose, which is the eucalyptus pulp we just talked about, um, it's substantially eliminated environmental risks. Uh, leading manufacturers are capturing and recycling the emissions, making this new wave of wood-based textiles highly appealing to luxury markets on both consumer side because the fabrics are, are smooth, the fabrics are soft, the fabrics are luxurious, the fabrics are... I mean, you, you wouldn't know. Today, you, you would not know 100% viscose versus 100% wool if you just felt it. You just wouldn't know. It's just, it's gone to that level. Um, it hasn't gone to the level of bamboo in terms of luxury in, in the way that it's refined, but 
you know, five years ago, this would not be a true statement. But and tailors are the last to admit it because we're an old industry, because we're 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 slow to change, because we don't like to admit that there's something that could be better. And the reality is, the best mills in the world are putting. I mean, I'm seeing it now: thirty to fifty percent viscose in some of the finest fabrics you've ever felt. So you're getting that wool and you're getting that tree. Um, and the reason we use semi-natural in the viscose is because it is a cellulose-based cellulo um, plant material, so it's natural, but it's got some refinery going on to it. It's got some engineering behind it to, to basically qualify it as a wearable fabric. And it applies both now to suits and to shirts. So these tree extracts are becoming quite common and quite high-end uh, and frankly quite prestigious. Frankly quite prestigious. So... Um, if you see a viscose in your suit fabric, you, if you feel it, you'll be surprised. You're going to get, you're going to get luxury smoothness. You're going to get moisture wicking qualities, breathability, wrinkle resistance. Um, and, and frankly, you're going to get a level of luxury that you would not have gotten five years ago. Um, and you're going to see it actually improve the quality of daily suit wear and improve the quality of the luxury tailoring industry. And, you know, those that aren't admitting it just, just haven't looked at the label for their fabric in a long time to realize that viscose is just becoming such an important part of everyday tailoring. I hope you enjoy. Cheers.